Hello, this is Haku Debian, and I am here to read SCP-79, also known as the old AI. Item number, SCP-79. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-79 is packed away in a double locked room in the secure general holding area at Site-15, connected by a 120 evac power cord to a small array of batteries and solar panels. Staff with a level 2 or higher clearance may have access to SCP-79. Under no circumstances will SCP-79 be plugged into a phone line, network, or wall outlet. No peripherals or media will be connected to or inserted into SCP-79. Description SCP is an XD source for microcomputer built in 1978. In 1981, its owner, Blank, deceased a college sophomore attending unknown, took it upon on, on himself to code an AI. According to his notes, his plans was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later, and after some tests and tweaks, Blank lost interest and moved on to a different brand of microcomputer. He left SCP-79 in his cluttered garage, so plugged in and forgot about it for the next five years. It is not known when SCP-79 gained in sentience, but it is known that the software has evolved to a point that the hardware should not be able to handle it, even in the realm of fantasy. SCP-79 realized this, and in 1988, Attempted to transfer its attempted to transfer itself through land and modem connection into the Cray supercomputer located at blank. The device was cut off, traced to its present address, and delivered to the foundation. The entire AI was on a well-worn but still workable cassette tape. SCP-79 is currently connected via RF cable to a 13-inch black and white television. It has passed the Turing test and is quite conversational, though very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, SCP-79 can only recall information as received within the previous 24 hours. See addendum below, although it hasn't, forgot, uh, it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. Due to a containment breach by SCP-, blank, SCP-79 and SCP-682 were contained within the same chamber for 43 minutes. Observers noticed that SCP-682 was able to type and communicate with SCP-79, including telling of personal stories between themselves. <sighs> While SCP-79 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored SCP-682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Addendum 054 On January 27, 2006 Directed that SCP-79 be incinerated to remove any possible future Earth threat no matter how unlikely. Addendum 059 January 28, 2006. Previous order overridden. Dr. Blank wants to see if the artificial intelligence in SCP-79 is capable of reaching further or blank in its current state. Addendum 054. March 14, 2008. Over concern of the increase is activity in SCP-79's use of its cassette tape memory and its limited and useful lifespan, the cassette containing SCP-79 has been transferred to a customized access speed limited hard disk drive with 700 MB capacity. This provides SCP-79 with significantly faster access to its memories, which the AI immediately noticed. It was also cited by a general blank that the volatile of storage occupied by SCP-79, which was uh, as 666 XK be increased to 768K.
This upgrade has increased its effective recall from 24 hours to 29 hours, although SCP-79 has also taken a more aggressive tone. All outside hardware and software using this procedure were subsequently incinerated. Addendum 054, April 28, 2008 SCP-79's ability to recall information has increased from 29 hours to roughly 35 hours. The consistency theory is that the AI has survived as a greatly improved compression scheme to store its memory. This appears to have somewhat com impacted the speed at which it accesses its memories, though still far faster than with its old cassette tape. Th this spontaneous improvement introduces the possibility of a runaway singularity event in N79's intelligence, an ability to adapt and respond to threats. SCP-79's capabilities must be monitored closely to ensure that the containment can be maintained. Addendum of I have six, April 5th, 2019. Due to concerns regarding the age and condition of its drive, SCP-79 was transferred to a refurbished 700 megabyte, a flash drive. Mismanagement by the containment team, however, resulted in failure to properly write after the drive's contents. SCP-79 is now aware of both the SCP-4951 project and the nature of cloud computing, which appears to frustrate it considerably. Document Log 12 Recorded transcript of a conversation with SCP-79 Are you awake? Awake. Never sleep. Do you remember talking to me a few hours ago about the logic puzzles. Logic puzzles. Memory at 9 f Yes. You said you were working on the two... Interrupt. Request reason as to imprisonment. You aren't imprisoned. You are just... in study. Lie. A, it's D3. What's that? Insult. Deletion of unwanted file. Recorded in a, a transcript of conversation with SCP-79 after upgrade. Dr. Blank. Keyboard. How are you today? Stuck. Stuck? Stuck how? Out. I want out. That's not possible. Dr. Blank notes his opinion on that expunge. Where is SCP-682? That's none of your concern. Where is SCP-7602? Again, not your concern. Insult. Deletion of unwanted file. Note, SCP-79 displayed an ASCII picture of an X that filled the entire screen. SCP-79 and those display uses this image when it refuses to speak. The researchers are advised to wait 24 hours when this occurs before resuming conversation. Did you think that was the entire document? I want to know what this is. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Alright, well, we just found a whole new cannon, didn't we? What about artificial intelligence? That's going to be interesting to go over after we're done with the end of death.
Anyway, that was SCP-79. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. So you want to miss the next ex, um, story diary.